Hi. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to the chocolate review. We don't have a name yet. No. What should be our name? I just think I think chocolate review is okay. The chocolate review? Yeah. Okay. We have two chocolates here today. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, we have the Ritter Sport. Uh, this flavor is butter biscuit and cocoa and cocoa cream. Yeah. Okay. The milk chocolate. And we have a Cho uh, Extra Dark, 81%. So Cho is made in San Francisco. Where is Ritter Sport made? Uh, it's... Well, it says up here it's European. Yeah. So somewhere in Europe. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Germany. Germany. Oh, German chocolate. Yep. There's a cool Ritter Sport um, store in Berlin. I went there once. All right. So who's going first? Let's do this one first. Do you want to do this one first? Yeah, okay. So uh, the packaging is kind of cool. It's got this really yummy looking uh, photo on the front. Yeah, um, it has the polka dots. I like the polka dots. The polka dots are cool. <laughs> Cho does a really good job with their design. Their font, the, the packages look cool. Um, let's see if there's anything informationally on the back. It says Best Buy, uh, January 19th, 2021. So we're okay. <laughs> Cho Ventures, 3100 San Pablo Avenue, Suite 1700, Berkeley, California. All right. I wonder how they're doing during the, uh, the lockdown. During the lockdown. I wonder if chocolate is considered an essential business. I think it's an essential <laughs> business. So. My fourth grade teacher had a sign that said, Save the Earth. It's the only planet with chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> that we know of. Yeah. Right. All right. So it opens up nicely. Yeah. There's a cool um, silvery thing in the middle. And I like the size of these. Yeah. I like how they're square. And so, like most chocolate bars you see, they're really long. But I like how this one's just square. I think that's a good size to have. Um, it's divided into nine. Yeah. So you can share it with friends as well. Sure what you're doing. Uh, there's little flaps over here that you can open, and one over here, and there. Just a, no, most people would just rip the packaging open because they want to eat chocolate, but. <laughs> it's like a, a birthday present, you just open it up. Yeah, chocolate is like a birthday present. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know, I don't. It's maybe you should try to open you want it. Want me to do a yes. song? Okay. So I tried to. I ripped it out. a little bit. But. Um, okay, so we're each gonna do a square. Maybe is that what we should do? Yeah, I think so. And then the Ritter Sport also has squares, so we right. have to do a square of those. Maybe two squares because I think the Ritter Sport is pretty small. All squares. Right, so <clears throat> they have little lines on them and stuff. I think that's a cool design because yeah, it's, it's cool. not like it doesn't have like. Uh, it doesn't have like the logo that they have. Whoever the name. is in charge of design at the show, they deserve a raise. Yes. Um, Unless they just got one. So, here it is. Mmm, oh. I like it. That is a good chocolate. That's a good dark chocolate. Last week we had, or last time, mm -hmm. we had the 100% cacao from Ritual. Mm -hmm. And it was it was too much, right? We yeah. haven't even we still have half of that bar sitting around. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nobody wants to eat it. Um, the brother texted me saying, "What did he say? He said, what percentage was that dark chocolate I just ate?' He couldn't because it was just sitting around and he ate it. This is eighty one percent. This is significantly lower, and it's got this richness, this milky, not milky, um, this softness to it. I think." Mm -hmm. I've had, I think I've had a Cho like milk chocolate type no. one, and that was really good. It's really creamy. This one is like that texture too. Mm -hmm. I just don't know if I like it that much because it's more bitter, and I don't like bitter things. So now we know that you don't like dark chocolate, but compared to the other dark chocolates we've had, <laughs> where does this one rank? I think this one might be my favorite dark oh. chocolate, maybe. Mm -hmm. This. I think it's really good. Was that sea salt one dark chocolate? Because that mm -hmm. one was really good. Yeah. I like that one. I think I'm going to not want to share that. Mm. 
So do you know the, the secret way to open Ritter Sport as we move on to that one? Um. It's not secret, but nope. There's like. Yeah, go ahead. There's this Don't actually do it, but thing. what do you okay. think? There's like this thing right here, and yeah. it says, um, break here to open. Yep. So. But there's a special way to do it. So, and you'll see it when you, when we open it, that there's these grooves in here. Each of the squares has like a valley in between it, which means that if you were to bend it right there, it would collapse into that valley. So what you do is you look at this dotted line on the back, and, the, and I really like this about Ritter Sport. You, hey, <laughs> pay attention. Okay. You kind of, you grab what's the top row because there's four rows of squares here. There's 16 blocks in each Ritter Sport, the big ones. And you basically grab that top row and you just bend it in. Well, that's so cool. And then you kind of do it like this and just bend it down and the packaging just opens. Now That's this one's cool. a little bit different because it's got a thing in the middle. It's got like a wafer in the middle. But then also it's kind of cool. You should just tear the top part. And then there's your first part. And there's your first part. So go ahead. Why don't you break that in half? You get half and I get half. Okay, so there's just like this. And they have each little square has Ritter Sport on it. Mm, I'm going to break them into... So this is a biscuit in the middle? Yes. I've never had this one, actually. I've always worn this one, which mm. is why I'm gonna... They had it at Trader Joe's, right? Yes. Um, I've always wanted to try this one because I really like milk chocolate. Mm. And I just think that the biscuit in the middle would be really good, and it is. I like having something creamy. So these are really creamy. This is really good. And then like a crunchy. I think mm. a dark chocolate biscuit would be even better. Could they make one of those? I don't think so. Maybe. But not at Trader Joe's. They don't sell it there. Between these two, which do you prefer? <laughs> the Ritter Sport Ritter or the Cho? Ritter Sport, of course. Mm. And which do you think I prefer? Oh, once again, <laughs> it's a milk dark split. You know, that confirms my hypothesis about milk chocolate and dark chocolate. All right, well, thanks for joining everybody. For more information, click on our subscribe button and leave your comments. And well, actually, we don't have any of that, but once we do, do that. Okay, much love, stay well.